Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank. Today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and hop right in. Loading, loading, loading. Not sure what kind of quest we're going to get into today. Maybe we'll go to Herbology class. I think that might have been the next interesting thing on our list. We had done some dueling and let's see what else we have. I think there might be this combo lesson really close by so let's see if it's right here i might go ahead and do that just since we're already over here and it's convenient yeah let's go ahead and knock this out first hello lucan i'd like to practice with the training dummy excellent idea this time will be a bit more of a challenge ready that'd be brilliant wonderful i'll set things up Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay. Here we are. Alright, so we got an Accio, and then Incendio, and then Levioso. Accio, Incendio, Levioso. Nice. Okay, so now Levioso, three basic cast, and a Accio. Accio, incendio. Nicely done. Accio, Levioso. Oh, I held the button. Okay, let's try from a little bit of distance. Here we go. Incendio. 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 Oh, really got that one. Everything is recharging. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. <laughs> Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. Okay, nice. Guessing we unlock something, probably. Yep. Let's see what we've got. Oh, let's see. Gear Pants or Top of the Class Ensemble. Oh, I guess that's not completed. Okay, so this one is the Lucky Leprechaun Gloves. Nice. And so I have at least, I think, one new piece of clothing or a collection, maybe. Uh, let's see. Pair of gloves for the Lucky Reveler, earned by completing side quests. So I looked it up and you can sell your clothing on this game, but the appearances can last um, forever, which is really nice. So you can just sell away and anything you previously owned, you get to wear them again. This look interesting. Um, I think I'll actually switch to them for a little bit. And I don't think I have anything else to wear at the moment. I'll go ahead and keep these spectacles on for the heck of it. And how about we check out quests and see what else we got. A girl from Uagadu, I guess. Uh, herbology class. Resser Hecate's assignment too. And the Daedalan keys. Let's see. Successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodge rolling. Let's go to an herbology class. Bet we can teleport pretty close by. <laughs> Let's uh, actually go ahead and do a say travel. There we go.
after we get this quest done, might do a little bit of a walk to the next quest marker so we can explore nice some on the way. You, my young friend. Should get another one or two flu network entries while we're out here too, I think. So that'd be nice. Very nice. Hmm, that one was a little bit closer. I wanna guess that. Oh, cool. It's a little haunting. This is my sister's first year at Hogwarts. Every time she pretends not to see me anymore, I can't. It's tradition in my family to play a game of Quidditch on the moon during Hogwarts. Hmm. Wonder if there's anything in this area. Revelio. Don't see anything right away. Okay, I think we're officially in the greenhouse. There we go. Level one lock. And let's go ahead and begin the quest. Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. <laughs> we do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. 
Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neve. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy or roses? Okay, let's see. Ditterly's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell we potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Okay, Dittany leaves this medicinal herb used for Wiganwell potion. Okay, we'd seen that. Uh, add fertilizer, increase its yield. You can create fertilizer by conjuring a dung composter. Okay. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganwell potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, <laughs> Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. <laughs> Give him a good chomp. Uh, let's see. Where are we going for this? Oh, that was serious. Okay. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have. If Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Oh, look at these cabbages. things. Just it's awesome. Mind your fingers. I'll... Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. Uh, let's see. How to, how to do it. See, L1 has popped up, but I don't see anything. Oh, you gotta equip it. Okay. Ah, okay. Interesting. Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum <laughs> planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. <laughs> Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Nice. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing what all can be done with uh, growing stuff in here because I heard that there are multiple flower pots and um, quite a few things that you can actually do. So I'm going to go on a little looting run here and take whatever I can find. One thing that I saw is I do wonder Duris Potion. Potion enhances Rinker's defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin. Okay. One thing I wonder is um, I don't think you can 
unequip what's on L1. I think that's a little bit of an oversight in the controls is that it'd be easy to slap L1 and use up something that you don't mean to at a bad time. So I wonder if he'll hatch that up a little bit somehow. All right, just exploring, looking around, trying to find stuff. What a beautiful greenhouse this is. I've just been so impressed with uh, all the detail that they put into um, everything I've seen in Hogwarts so far. I mean, like, it really feels like true fans of the you know series made this game, like, just super impressive. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Uh oh. I guess somebody got hurt. More Didney. What else we have? Oh, I gotta go talk to the professor again. I'll go over and say hi in just a moment. Just looking to see if there's anything else to loot. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Oh, no, that would be interesting. It'd be hilarious to toss one out in the middle of a fight. Right, let's see how it hit me soon. Four and a half minutes left. Um, oh, there she is. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Okay. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. <laughs> Uh, let's go look over here, actually. I think it, this room hasn't been explored yet. Or is this where I did the dummy? No? I had something different. Rebellio. Oh, here we go. I missed what's that. 68 galleons. Nice. Get the self-watering going on here. That's cool. Alright. Um... I don't know if there's much else to discover right now, so I guess we'll just kind of walk out. Um, I did need still growing though, so let's look around this area first, and then we'll come back for it in a couple minutes. Uh, let's see. Assume these are the dirigible plums. Yep, and there's the dummy again. Okay. Interesting, I didn't quite see that this is how we got over here. Oh, look at this. I think this is like a little irrigation tunnel. Water underneath it. Well, that's pretty. Flux weed. Oh, there's a staircase back here. Oh, it's in deep water. Let's get out of that. I wonder how much you can swim in this game. Like, I wonder if there's diving and stuff. Oh, look at this. A random V. Hmm. Revelio. Oh, that's the training dummy. I was wondering why there's red showing up. I think it's usually enemies. I <laughs> got you, sucker. 500 more galleons. I 
I bet my Ditney is about ready. Oh, here's something. More Ditney leaves. I wonder if these plants grow back over time so that you can harvest them over and over. That'd be really cool. Alright, how much time we have left? 40 seconds. So we went ahead and planted more. Okay. Well, there we are. Nice. I wonder if you empty the pot, if you can, like, put stuff in there to grow again. Like, if you pull the seeds out or if they expire or something. Um, I don't know, though. All right, what do we got? Inventory. Ditney leaves, flux weed stem, some lacewing flies, and malice wheat. Oh, we got potions class. Um, let's see, we got potions, this one, Professor Hecate's, and the keys. Um, well, since we just had a lesson, let's go to this one, I guess. Meet Natty in the Lower Hawksfield. And I think I'll take the long way or the long way over there since I used uh, fast travel. Maybe I'll get a couple. You know, treasures along the way. Maybe run into a key. Hey, that door loaded pretty quickly. I wonder if there was another patch came in. Hmm. Oh, I hear a key. Here we go. Hey, little buddy. Where are you going? Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Is this the door I haven't solved yet? Okay. So we got 11 plus something equals 21. So 0, 1, 2. Um, this will be 13. We need to get 8. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need a spider on the single one. Okay, and I just saw a flying page. Revelio. Oops. I'm still not used to holding in R for some reason. Okay. Um, is there another one of these spinners somewhere? Revelio. Okay, I see the blue. So that's what I don't understand is this is the second one I've ran into. Uh, it doesn't have an apparent second spinner. Um, maybe it's further over this way. Ah, it's up there. Okay, 17. We got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 14. And we need 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. So the kind of Hydra looking thing. Um, In my opinion, definitely. Yep, here it is. Nice. 
Armillary spheres. And black leather gloves. Oh. Am I already out of storage? Wow. Um, it's really not that much. Dang. I gotta get up to level 10 to wear these. Where am I at now? Nine. Oh, I'm right there on the edge. Okay. Well, I guess... Let me see, I actually did collect these, so maybe I should go to Hogsmead real fast to um, sell my stuff and I'll come back to uh, meet Natty. Just go here. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? All right. Um, so somewhere nearby, we should have that little sporting goods place. There's Ollivanders. I assume that I can go there and sell him some stuff. Maybe? Huh. I guess he might be a one-time interaction. That's it. About here, that's locked. Um, where else could there be? Gotta be something else. Ah, oh, this cauldron place. Wonder if they'll talk to me yet, or if I'm gonna be sent here to get one for potions class. Oh. All right. Let's step back out, go sell our stuff. Now surely this one will let me because I've already purchased from them. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. How's it going, Tom? All right. So I guess this to Practice as traditional school robe. We'll sell it. A pleasure doing business with you. I want to see that it shows in the like appearances. Um, so I think it was on this. There should be a traditional school robe. Yep. Okay. Good. So you do still get to keep it. Sweet. Let's look at what we have, shall we? So we'll just keep selling. Jumper school uniform. Now let's see, this one also has three slots on it. High top hat. Hmm. Let's keep going. And these I can't put on yet, so we'll hold on to them. Let me see what I'm wearing. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Do do do. Here we go. I'm thinking that it just doesn't show what I'm wearing in the cell menu. Yeah. Okay, I see how the gear slots work. So this is literally all you get. So hopefully, I guess there's not a whole lot of point in having more room because you can just sell everything by the look Let's of look it. Let's look at what we have, and shall we? Not a big deal. Only thing that might be important is having things that have slots. So you see how these compare. This is a level seven, and um, this is a level four. So I think maybe. Selling this will make more sense. And these have slots too. Okay, let's go and sell this. 
This is an upgrade, and we just need to be level 10, so we'll stop there. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. We made a pretty good amount of money, though. Um, now what else could there be here? We've got several shops. Um, I don't know if anything's worth buying yet. I heard that there's something worth getting for 3,000, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh, this saw a flying book thing. There you go. What else can we do? Oh, there's another one. Way over there. Gotcha. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hmm. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Want two galleons just laying around. I just really can't believe how ornate everything is. It just still surprises me. Okay. Well, this is really far away, but I think that I'll make the journey just in case there's something interesting on the way. from over here looks awesome. Get a screenshot of that. Let me get over here. Oh, what are these? Leaping toadstool caps. Well, this is going to be a really long hike. Um, I think we've already ran up and down the street once before, but we'll go ahead and do it again. Because I wasn't looking for things to collect or do last time. There we go. Definitely getting those toadstools. Oh, you know what? I missed an item in the cauldron place, but I'll go back and get it later because I'm pretty sure that when I go to the potions class, they're going to make me go buy stuff anyways. Or that shop will open up afterwards. So, Ooh, what's over here? That's just a little shortcut. That's cool. Akio. Here we go, Moonstone. That way to the lake. Alright. I wonder if I can pluck this from over here. Nope. I gotta say the overworld is pretty awesome. Glum bumble tree call. <laughs> These rocks have seen better days. Hmm. I wonder if this is something I can repair, repair or not. That'd be interesting. Leviosa. Incendio. There we go. That's one way to get things out of your way. Purple dragon eyed spectacles. Sounds like it's an upgrade too by the look of that icon. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep those visible because that's hilarious. <laughs> hey, it's got good stats. Who cares what it looks like, right? Okay. I think I'm still heading the right way. 
Yeah. Let's see what's over this way. Oh, the forbidden forest. Nice. Revelio. There's not like an area where something could be hidden. See some moonstone, I think, but I don't think I'll go down there and pursue it. There you go. Hmm. There's something making a crazy sound. What was that? Not sure I'm ready to go off the beaten path too much yet. Man, let me see how far away this is, because this is taking quite a while. I may go ahead and warp after all. Oh yeah, yeah, she's really far out there. Um Maybe we'll just run, because it doesn't look like I have any um warps that are necessarily a whole lot closer. I mean there might be one here on the edge of Hogwarts, but that's not gonna help much. Hope you took your running potion today, buddy. How nice to see you, my young friend. There we go, it's rapidly going down now that we're running. Let's see, is this another warp over here? It is. Flying class line. Oh, cool. What's this? I wonder if this is where Hagrid's hut normally would be. Beast's classroom. I bet that is. That's got to be it. This area is getting a little scary. So dramatic. I think you probably could describe that there, buddy. Oh, this is the warp I've already got. Interesting. Off on another adventure, are we? Hmm. Wonder when I've been out this way. Look at all these balloon things. Okay, we're only 200 away. This is some steep hill, man. Get some kids fell down. This got hurt. Ooh, let's see what's in this building. If we can come in. Revelio. There we go. Groundskeeper's tools. One might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cozy hut as large as the occupant may need. Nice, 44 galleons too. 93. Well, thanks, groundskeeper. 
This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. I don't remember exactly why I'm meeting her down here. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Ah, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? <laughs> I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. Those glasses. I am well. But I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Mm, I guess we'll continue being truthful with everybody in open. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Sorona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Uh oh, I bet this is a fight. This way, think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. Wow. Nice. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. May learn valuable insights on enemies such as their weaknesses of certain spells. I guess we better look. Uh, here? Yep. Among the quicker of Rookwood's agencies, witches will surprise their opponents with back-to-back -back attacks. The powerful Reductor Curse 
cannot be blocked by shield charms, but interrupting that cast a severing charm will spin them to the point of losing control and hitting one of their own gang. Okay. Oh, I should have done a dodge. Oh. Ah. 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 That's a tough fight. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. Thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioneer. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures. These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Uh, uh, let's see. Here we go. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Okay. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Oh. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendium! Fallen's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. Hey, there we go. Nice. Nice, that was cool. 
I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. That's cool. So I guess there's more of these to be found. Oh, nice. <laughs> She's just like, out. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, let's see what else we got to do here. Um, I wonder if this is a new trackable quest too. Oh, I can equip my better gloves since I've leveled up. Nice. Minus eight, so that's a good boost. Uh, let's see. I don't think I've earned anything else. Um, collections. Those are our Millery Spheres. And let's see what else. Maybe that was it. Okay. Prelio Pages. Here's one for the Groundskeeper's Tools. I think that all these are things that I've already read, so I'll just skip over them. And let's see, ingredients. So, Leaping Toadstool Caps. Mushrooms that leap serendipitously and are used in an invisibility potion. They are commonly found in forested area, so you can use them for that. Cool. Moonstone, ingredient commonly used for conjuration magic, it is found in every region acquired by breaking crystallized stone. Nice. Okay. So that gets me current on that. What about challenges? Ah. Let's see. Defeat 10 dark wizards. Dragon Hide Protector's Cloak. That looks pretty cool. Um, dueling Feet. Gear Prince Reward. Officer's Uniform. So it looks like I just have new challenges open to work on, but Complete Merlin's Trials. Inventory Expansion Reward. Increased Storage for Gear. Ah, okay. Nice. Um, I'm assuming that I won't find these on the map anywhere, though, but let's, let's look here in a second until we clear our inventory. Okay. Man, look how big this map is. This is crazy. I don't think I realized how big this is and wow, geez. I bet there's a good chance for some DLC like being baked up for this, you know, someday. Wow. I feel like I've just barely scratched the surface. Um, let's see. There's carted away and looks like the lost astrolabe. Student outside in Lower Hogsfield is staring longingly out over the waters of Black Lake, wondering what's on her mind. And carted away, a goblin outside Lower Hogsfield seems distraught over his missing cart. Doesn't seem to be aligned with Rainrock Soilist. Perhaps we should investigate. Let's go look at that one. Gotta get any side quest. And if this one's not too long, we'll go ahead and do the next one too. Well, it looks like there's a vendor over here. I'm gonna go check them out first. Go this far. Jalal. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? A goblin called Pergit is causing a bit of a stink. His gang is attacking traveling vendors, and now business is suffering everywhere. Uh, 
would be nice if someone would do something about it. No one wants to pick a fight with a band of goblins, though. <laughs> Which means he's free to do what he wants down in Coral Ruins. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lord Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. But I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. <laughs> My prices are low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> <laughs> My ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Uh, let's see. Materialist potion that enhances drinker's defense will cover with material rocky skin. Maxima increases and incurs spell damage. And Wigan Weld. Okay. I'm just leave it alone for now. Sometime. Probably do need to get into potion brewing soon. Um, maybe I'll do these two missions and go from there. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Okay, well, let's go to the goblin camp. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Oh, handsome racket. I don't know if it came across the stream, but a bunch of crows or something sounding like they're upset. I'm guessing this is going to be a fight. Hopefully it's one that I can handle at this level. I do wonder if there are level warnings in this game, like that it's clear you wouldn't win type of deal. Oh, what is this? Beast welcome. Fort Archie. I guess this is a little kid's area or something. Thornback shooter. Where? Revelio. Oh, I see it now. It's a spider. Oh, 
Ooh, that's kind of terrifying. I had no idea where it went. Where it is. Okay. Well, the spiders are terrifying. See if we need to rearrange anything before we get into a fight. Um, yeah, I don't think any of these are going to help me in a fight, so we'll just keep going. Hey, a bunny rabbit. What's up, rabbit? Okay. Hmm. I wonder if any of these people talking are enemies. An encampment. This must be it. Hmm. Okay. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. What level is this guy? Ten? Okay. He looks tough. I wonder if I can sneak in. That'd be pretty cool. We should have killed that traitor arm when we took his cards. Seal this crossbow. Major's crossbow bolt and defeat enemy with ancient magic. Wonder how we would do either of those things. I mean, ancient magic, I understand, but I don't know about the other one. I've never seen a sword like it. I wonder if at some point at a certain level or mastery of a skill you can do combat while fully invisible. Or teleport across the room or something during combat. That'd be wicked. I didn't think I'd make that. Revelio. Elegant emerald robe. Let's see if that's an upgrade. How much of an upgrade it is? We know it is, but how much of an upgrade? I'm not sure. Oh, plus six. Nice. We'll take that into the battle. Wizards will be defeated. Revelio. Hmm. I don't know what these things are. An enchantment. The cards are returning to arm. Hey, I'm pretty sure that that guy is gone. Oh, 
I got me. How many of you are there? Such arrogance. Here we go. I will make you You are terribly up there. Always on the defensive. Oh. Oh. Suffering, do you? Gotta run from this. Rebellion. You can't stop us. This is proving pretty hard. Oh, gotta run. Oh, I wanna get cornered. You wanna kettle me? Ancient magic. Jeez. Oh, oh, darn. Incendio. Easily diverted. Let's see where else can we go. Is it looking too good for the home team? Two more, or three more. Okay, we gotta get one with ancient magic too. So, where are they? Neapolitan Stripe Scarf, nice. Okay. Where are these guys at? Sounds like there's one to the right. Okay. Almost have enough to get this guy. Ah, oh, he's up there. Okay. How to get up to him. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Huh. Now, how do I get up to that guy? Okay, that doesn't help. Maybe I gotta be on the outskirts here. If only Renrock were here to see this. Oh. Let me go. Accio. Rebellion. 
Oh, he's still alive. I thought I got him. Let me also. Okay, he's down. So we got one more to get. There we go. That was quite something. Ooh, tough. Glad it gave me back some health, though. I'll have to get some more Wigan Weld potions. I wonder what the most economical way to do so is. Hmm. Revelio. So this thing lit up. Oh, I guess I gotta move these stones. I wonder if I need Wingardium Leviosa for that. Accio. Well, maybe not. Come here, little stones. Okay, cool. Uh, is that all I had to do? I would assume that's not all of it. Rebellion. Looks like there's another thing over there. Let's go see. Ah, okay. So I'm guessing there's more stones nearby. Cannonballs, whatever they are. I wonder if they're up on where that goblin was. Hmm. Oh, is this something we can open? Incendio. Accio. Ah, neat. <laughs> Didn't expect this. Let's see about getting some stuff upgraded. Oh, what is this? It's got a... Oh, it's another level lock. Okay. What about this other one? We're so close to level 11, too. Okay. We're going to have to sell our gear soon. Getting filled up. Okay. Now... Where are those other cannonballs at? Oh, there's another one right there. Okay. Such a cool little animation. Okay, there's gotta be some more somewhere. Rebellion. enemies yeah there's more enemies out here four of them don't want to fight them if I don't have to well let's see I wonder if I can use this box to climb on top and then find cannonballs up there or something that would be really cool Hey, it worked. Interesting. I thought for sure that's this would be where the rest of the cannonballs are. Um, maybe they're up on this hill or something. Oh. Incendio. This uh 
box is looking like it is interactable. Okay. All right. So. Wonder if there's any chance there inside of it's inside of this, and I need to break it somehow. It's like I can't bring it any higher. Okay. Also, it didn't look like it was gonna break either way. All right. So. Revelio. Wonder if this will make them. Uh, show their color. Hmm. Revelio. Oh, I should have used some of my chomping cabbage in that fight. That would have been hilarious. Didn't think to do it though. I was too focused on casting spells. Perhaps I shall scout around Felcroft for something to poach. Maybe we can do it on these guys. I wonder if we can sneak up on them. Poacher tracker. Okay, he's just a level ten. I didn't always like a pal like What was that? Quiet as a grapple, you are. Let me go, sir. You! What do you think? Yes, it is! Let me go, Akio. Send you. Here we go. Hey, we've got six galleons for our trouble. Alright, I want to look just a little bit more for those cannonballs, and I may go ahead and look it up if uh, I don't find them soon, because I'd love to complete this Merlin trial and get an equipment slot. Um, we'll look a tiny bit more. Hmm. We can't reuse the ones that we've already got. There were those carts that went out on their own. I wonder... I guess it's possible that they went to him to... Um, let me search this though real fast. So, one moment. Okay, maybe we'll just come back for it later. We'll head back to um, Arn and we'll figure out how to do this one in a bit. Oh, there's something out over this way. Revenue. Looks like an enemy. Use Protego successfully. Dark mongrel. Uh, is it dogs? Took that dog out. Guess we'll use Protego a few times. Oopsie. 
mongrel fur. Okay. Well, this bullied a whole bunch of wildlife. Well, that really surprised me. Where did he come from? I guess it is a wolf den, though, isn't it? Um. Hmm. Okay. Let's head on back to Arn. Look at the deer. Some looks like elk, maybe. I don't really seem to care though. Well, now he cares. <laughs> oh, here's another Merlin trial, looks like. Let's see if we can do this one. Could it be a Merlin trial? Okay, what do we have here? Um, let's see. I'm wondering if we have to do these in a certain amount of time. They grow back. I bet that's what happens. Maybe? Maybe they don't grow back. This looks intriguing. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Nice. Poor dog didn't see it coming. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we did the Merlin trial and assume that we got a award for it. Another thornback shooter. It says use fire spells. Nice. Okay. How about this guy? Loyalist Sentinel. Masters of both offensive and defensive magic. These Ranrock Loyalists can go toe to toe with the most powerful witches and wizards. These Ranrock Loyalists can use corrupted ma ancient magic to increase the strength of all nearby goblins. While they're building up magic to imbue with their, into their companions, Bombarda can disrupt and unleash it in a devastating eruption. Oh, cool. Mongrel fur. Tusks of fur gathered from fearsome mongrels. The ingredient is used as part of the Edurus potion. Okay. Hey, nice. We got us a uh, expansion. Feet goblins. Spiders. Lupus protection one. Huh. Oh, it's a gear trait. Okay, cool. I wonder if I can apply that to my clues now. Oh, another challenge. Traits. Decreased damage taken from dark mongrels. Require, I assume it requires post skiing for. Okay. So many things to check out. Okay, what do we have new here? An outfit. Oh, rustic garb. Okay. Oh, cool. And level 10. This is level 10 as well, and it looks like it has some slots available. Alright, nice. Um, 
Yeah. What else do we want to do? I guess we need to get back to Arn finally. We'll complete that um, quest, presumably, if we don't run into another challenge or something along the way. We'll avoid this animal den. Looks like there's something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this thing. Um, I'm really curious about this. Maybe it'll make more sense like a little bit later, like maybe a story thing will go inside with this location. A bunch of moonstone getting highlighted as I run around. Rebellion. see a bunch of treasures on the map, but I think I'll save looting that stuff for next time. If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid I still don't have my... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. Uh -huh. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea. That's all excessive. I wish you luck with it. <laughs> I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Okay, nice. All the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. I wonder where he'll end up. Why don't you have a little peruse? Oh, we can go and talk to him now. Jumping cabbage, venomous tentacula. A tentacula. A tenacious tentacula that when deployed shoot acid at nearby enemies. Venomous tentacula seeds can be purchased at dogweed. Okay, potion. I do need to start making those. So maybe I'll do potions class next stream. Mandrake, Maxima. Use to stun and harm enemies in radius. That's pretty funny. Um, you know, I actually, I should go ahead and sell uh, some sure stuff to him. Let's see. Okay, this is worth sixty. More than happy to purchase that. Good to have stock, I always say. Oh, I don't think I put that on yet. Okay. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and put this one up for sale. Dark smithing attire. I guess we'll hold on to that because it has all the slots. And we'll go ahead and let this go. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit. Okay, back to the gear. And I think I had a new scarf or something. Yeah, wow, plus 11 to offense. Well, good. Um, so we could go ahead and sell that other one. Why don't you have a little peruse? I've got 3,100. That feels pretty great. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you? Okay, I think this is a perfect time to go ahead and pause and we'll go ahead and Roll credits, say thanks for watching. This has been ST Rank. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube. And I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a great day.